Hi, my name is Leo. I'm the owner of Orchard Audio. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together the Pecan Pie streamer. Everything you see on the table comes as part of the kit, except for the tools, uh, which you just need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a 1 16th inch Allen wrench, um, pliers, and also the kit does not include the Raspberry Pi or the micro SD card. Um, I have already installed the micro SD card and programmed it with Volumio uh, for this particular build. <clears throat> so um, let's get started. Um, so the, the, when you get the case, it will look like this. So you have to take the cover off by removing um, six of these um, screws um, that go on the sides. Okay, once you remove the screws, uh, you can see that the Raspberry Pi goes in here where there's the rectangular cutouts and the Pecan Pi DAC goes here where there's the circular cutouts. <clears throat> so we're, we need to put some standoffs in here um, and the boards are going to sit on those standoffs. The Raspberry Pi sits on 10 millimeter standoffs. So I'll put those in. So these standoffs are included with the kit. There's going to be four of them. And then the Pecan Pie DAC, which is a very high performance DAC, sits on 12 millimeter standoffs. Uh, so we're gonna put those in here. Okay, now that the standoffs are in, I'm going to put in the Raspberry Pi next. Okay, so put it on top of the standoffs and make sure that um, all the holes are centered. And then um, we're going to use M 2.5 screws to uh, hold it down. The screws are included with the kit as well. So there's four screws for the Raspberry Pi, and then there's four screws for the Pecan Pi DAC. And uh, this particular enclosure supports Raspberry Pi Model 3 and Model 3B. The Model 4 uh, Raspberry Pi is not supported with this enclosure. There is another one that you can purchase that is. <clears throat> oh, okay. uh, <clears throat> Before you put in the DAC, take off the nut and the washer that are on the power connector, which <laughs> I forgot to do at first, as you may have noticed. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, so once the DAC is in, another four screws to hold that down. Uh, and then once the back is held down, um, on the back, we're going to put on the washer first and then the nut to make sure the power connector stays nice and steady. And then we're going to tighten it just a little bit again, uh, right handed, so I'll have to flip this around. But Okay, so uh, basically I just used the pliers to tighten the nut on this connector. And then there's also these black 
um, XLR panel screws that hold the XLR connectors in place. So I'm going to put these in. So you need the Phillips head screwdriver for these. There's four of them, two for each connector. So here you see the four screws that hold in the XLR connectors. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to attach the um, volume potentiometer or volume pot to the DAC. And uh, <clears throat> that gets connected into this connector. And um, there's three wires and you need the flathead screwdriver to get it and the wires go in the order of red yellow black and there's also labeling on the circuit board um, that indicates that So you need the flat the flathead screwdriver for this connector. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. Red, yellow, black. Um, if you choose not to use the potentiometer and you want to disable the volume control, um, you can put a jumper on this connector that is right next to the green terminal block. And then you don't need the potentiometer. Um, of course, that will also leave you with a hole um, in the cover. <laughs> But <clears throat> Okay, so next we're, I'm going to put the potentiometer into the cover. So you have to remove the nut and the washer that are on there. And then the potentiometer um, goes into the cover. Um, and then washer and not to hold it down. Okay, and I'm going to tighten the nut on here. Okay. Um, and then <clears throat> the ribbon cable that we have here. The ribbon cable connects the Pecan Pie DAC to the Raspberry Pi. Um, so with the ribbon cable, um, one side has a red line on it, and the red line indicates pin 1. So you have to make sure that uh, pin 1 gets connected correctly on both boards, okay? So for reference, pin 1 is here on the Pecan Pie DAC and here on the Raspberry Pi, okay? And so, okay, so there we go. Pin one, red right here, and uh, pin one, red right here, okay? <clears throat> Uh, so before we put the cover on, we're going to install the black knob onto the potentiometer or the pot. And that's when you need the 1 inch Allen wrench um, for the set screw that is in here. So when you install the knob, make sure that it is just 
slightly above the case. Uh, so when you turn it, it doesn't uh, scratch the paint that is um, on the case here. Okay, and I'm gonna tighten it. Okay, it's nice and tight and uh, there we go. Okay, as the last step, we're gonna put the cover onto the base. Okay. And so this is what it looks like. And then uh, we have to install the M4 screws that hold the cover on which you originally had to remove to open the case up because when the case ships, it ships closed uh, to prevent any uh, damage to it in shipping. Okay, and then the other side. So here we have it, fully assembled uh, pecan pie streamer. Uh, so on the back, you have your ethernet port, um, USB ports to connect uh, USB storage devices like thumb drives or hard drives, um, the power, there's a nine volt power supply that is also provided. Um, and then, you know, you have your analog audio outputs um, XLR and RCA is also possible with the included adapters, which um, I don't have here. Um, and then also they're able to drive headphones, both balanced and um, regular headphones. Again, you need the adapters for that, which I don't have here, but that is doable. Uh, so that is how you assemble the Pecan Pie Streamer. Thank you for your time.